Hello everybody. I'd like to welcome you back to another educational video from Francisco Perez. Today we are going back into the book, The Cry of the Huna. We're going back into the Kamehameha Monarchy. And we're going back into the Freemason connection. And your connection to your brothers on America and how they knew that that was your brothers or your cousins and that, that that's why they came here to topple you because you were one of the last remaining kingdoms of these people that they had destroyed when they talk about people they've destroyed it was not the mongoloid people when they talk about people they destroyed they're talking about the negro specific especially the negro with the full beard that is the one that they did not like they do not like the negro with the full beard they rather much have the, the negro without the beard or or the the full bearded negro with the waves and the swirls on the head they much rather deal with those two they do not like you the soft afro wooly to springy full bearded negro they don't like you all right so i'm gonna finish like a page and i'm gonna get right back into these videos and then I'm gonna get into some articles, some pictures, some uh, university uh, discernments or papers on the similarities of the Hebrew culture and the Hawaiian poem and chanting and genealogy and di these different aspects. Haiku, how the same poetry that Hawaiians use is the same type that the Hebrews use. So let's get let's get into it. On November fifth, eighteen nineteen, he issued orders to destroy all the temples and burn all the images of God of all the images of their gods you got to understand they started off with no images serving the creator and then they started making images of the creator or they started worshiping the creator and the element gods or the angels of the creator like Michael the prince of, of Israel like these people they started to like the element gods like the god of agriculture winter solstice you know I understand that the creator does a lot of this but before I get confusing they, had, they were serving the creator and then they started to worship the element they started to give reverence to the element gods while worshiping the creator and then they started um, they started many god worship alongside um, ancestor worship so there's certain families their ancestors were made deities and then more deities were, were added to the to the hierarchy or the the list of gods and then eventually the creator got put on the back burner and he was he wasn't worshipped as much as the other gods and they they knew the creator was the originator of all the gods but they eventually just he got lost and there was only like one island and several orders that was worshipping him was the Kauai Island so here we go burn all the idols so at 
during the 1200 they started to make a bunch of idols so that's they started to burn all those idols they made from one end of the kingdom to the other so this is important because the temples were built in the same manner as the temples in South America, Central America, in Egypt. They had this in Mississippi. They had they have all like similar math and proportionates, and they're even facing in um, aligned with the same astrological figures in perfect alignment. For, to be aligned with those like with those celestial bodies and to uh, witness winter and summer solstice just like how we see our brothers and sisters in Central South and North America okay and in order to prevent the heir of the house of gods from coming into possession of the kingdom of Kamehameha so just like in Israel or Hebrew tradition if the king is wicked then the priests can usurp the power from the king or just like in many ancient traditions the priest can usurp the power if the king is not acting in the best um, for the people so um, Because, because the one to whom it was given fell to root upright. Liho Liho Kamehameha II ordered the death of Kekua Okalani and all of his priests. So he ordered the death of all the priests and that the high priest second in command. So um, 